whose real name is Katrina Laverne Taylor, is an American rapper. She rose to prominence in 1998 with her appearance on the Trick Daddy single, Non Nigga. Trina has been described by XXL as the most consistent female rapper of all time. In 2013, Complex ranked her single, Pull Ova, number 27 in their top 50 best rap songs by women. In 2014, Trina was included in Billboard's list of the 31 female rappers who changed hip-hop. Trina has an estimated net worth of $8 million. Trina's Early Life Trina was born on December 3, 1978, in Miami, Florida. She grew up in Liberty City area of Miami, Florida. Her father is Dominican, while her mother, Vanessa Taylor, was Bahamian. Unfortunately, her parents separated when she was a child. Trina attended Miami Northwestern Senior High School, where she was a majorette and where she graduated from in 1992. Later, Trina educated herself towards becoming a real estate agent before switching her career path to music. Besides that, Trina's brother, Wilbrant Bain Jr., was murdered in a shooting in 2013. In September 2019, her mother, Vanessa Taylor, died at the age of 62 after struggling with cancer. In July 2022, Trina's niece was killed. Trina's personal life. Trina was in an on-again, off-again relationship with rapper Lil Wayne from 2005 to 2007. On October 5, 2005, during an interview with Wendy Williams, Trina confirmed that she and Wayne were engaged to be married. Later, Trina became pregnant by Lil Wayne but suffered a miscarriage. Besides that, the couple had matching tattoos. Trina had Wayne on her wrist, while Lil Wayne had Trina spelled out on his ring finger. From 2007 to 2010, Trina dated basketball player Kenyon Martin. Martin had an image of Trina's lips tattooed on his neck. From 2012 to 2014, Trina dated rapper French Montana. On 2017, Trina began dating Raymond Taylor and got engaged in September 2021. In conclusion, Trina started the Diamond Doll Foundation, a nonprofit organization that helps younger girls with their life struggles. The organization has partnered with the Florida Entertainment Summit to organize the Jingle Bell Toy Drive for children in South Florida. Trina's professional career. In 1998, Trina was studying to get her real estate license when she caught the attention of Miami rapper Trick Daddy, who asked her to appear on his track Non Nigga. The song was released as the lead single from Trick's second studio album, www.thug.com. On July 14, 1998, this invitation kickstarted Trina's rap career, leading to a record deal with Slip and Slide Records with distribution from Atlantic Records. On March 21, 2000, Trina released her debut album, The Baddest Bitch, which debuted at number 33 on the US Billboard 200 and number 11 on the top R&B hip hop albums chart. Moreover, it stayed on the Billboard 200 chart for 39 weeks and on the hip hop R&B album chart for 49 consecutive weeks and was certified gold by the RIAA by November of that year. The album was preceded by the singles The Baddest Bitch on December 22, 1999 and Pull Over on February 13, 2000. 2000, which reached number 93 on the Hot 100, number 46 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs chart, and number 41 on the Rap Songs chart. Trina began working on her second album in 2001 with Missy Elliott. During this time, she started her own record label imprint, Diva Enterprises. In September 2002, she signed nine-year-old recording artist Lil Brianna, who would appear on her track Candy and later be known as Brianna Perry. On August 27, 2002, Trina released her second album, Diamond Princess, which debuted at number 14 on Billboard 200 and number 5 on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart, selling 67,000 units in its first week. The album was preceded by Told Y'all, featuring Rick Ross. On October 22, 2002, Trina released the album's third and final song, Be Our Right, featuring Ludacris which reached number 83 on the Billboard Hot 100, number 50 on the Hot R&B Hip Hop Songs Chart, and number 24 on the Rap Songs Chart. On May 18, 2007, it was announced that Trina had left Atlantic Records and signed with EMI in conjunction with her original label, Slip and Slide Records. On April 1, 2008, Trina released her fourth studio album, Still the Baddest, which reached number 6 on the Billboard 200, number 1 on the Top R&B Hip Hop Albums Chart, and number 1 on the Top Rap Albums Chart, thus becoming her first album to top the charts. On May 4, 2010, Trina released her fifth studio album, Amazing, which debuted at number 13 on the Billboard 200, number 4 on Top R&B Hip Hop Albums, and number 2 on the Top Rap Albums Chart. 
and number one on the Billboard Independent Albums chart. The album sold over 32,000 copies in its first week. On March 28, 2011, Trina released the mixtape Diamonds Are Forever. It was preceded by the singles Ghetto, featuring T-Pain. On December 3, 2012, Trina released the mixtape Back to Business. On March 21, 2016, Trina released the single Overnight, which discusses the ups and downs of her career, including lawsuits, label issues, and being underestimated. On June 2019, Trina released her much-delayed sixth studio album, The One, and in a 2020 interview, Trina stated that she was working on another project that was almost done. In conclusion, Trina owns cars like Golden Rolls Royce Wraith, among others. She also owns a three-story waterfront mansion in Miami. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.